Griffin Spalding County School System has a three-year timeline for the rigorous curriculum design project. During this past year, we wrote curriculum for English language arts, math, and science. Those teachers will have those materials. They've received training throughout last year. We'll have more training at the beginning of this year. And those teachers will be implementing those uh, units this school year. Again, I think because of how they're written with authentic performance assessments, we often hear children say, why do I need to know this? How does this impact me? These units put the standards into real life context. So students are going to see, this is how I use this information. This is where this knowledge applies. So again, many of our ELA classrooms, math classrooms and science classrooms through, from kindergarten through 12th grade will have these new units. The first thing that comes to mind is um, we do often find that our children do move uh, from one school to another. This process where these units are laid out and a map is laid out will help ensure that if a child moves from one school in Griffin Spalding to another school in Griffin Spalding, there'll be that continuity piece. There will be a level of expectation in all classrooms. As far as teachers, each unit has a planner. It lays out, here are some strategies, here are some ideas, here are some resources. So where teachers once had to spend a great deal of time looking those things up on the internet or in other resources, those are now provided for them. Um, what's great is they're hyperlinked. Teachers can go straight to those items and it's just going to, I think, make their planning time much more efficient. Instead of now looking for resources, they're able to take data from, again, the pretest that's already been given, from assessments they've been giving along the way, and plan the instruction now around children's needs from that data. Administrators, again, I think it's going to make it very clear to see a level of rigor and a, a level of challenge, a level of thinking that we should be seeing. And when, when administrators are visiting in classrooms, they're going to know exactly where the classrooms should be. And so it kind of helps again with that monitoring and that implementation piece. Again, I kind of hit on this. I think one of the biggest things that I expect to see, I hope to see, will be the children being excited about the learning. Teachers should also be excited to teach this way because it's bringing it to life. It's not just sitting there doing a worksheet. It's not sitting there just reading about it. It's doing real life application. And so that should be very, very exciting. Again, if you were to walk in and see this, my vision, children engaged, teachers facilitating, and, and learning happening. As a principal, each year we're faced with the challenge of having new staff. And so I see this in terms, I would characterize it as a legacy. Um, once a teacher um, moves on to another grade level, another position, another district, what will be left behind is the curriculum. And so it will allow us to have, I feel, a sustained um, curriculum that all of our children will be able to learn from. And um, it takes that burden off of me as one principal Having to uh, lead my teachers through curriculum each year, uh, we know that this curriculum, it is definitely not new. Uh, we are taking the Georgia Standards of Excellence and we have planned from those standards. However, as new teachers come into the building, we have found ourselves each year almost reinventing the wheel, going back to plan each year. And so I'm really excited that this curriculum will be there. Um, we have a network of teachers, um, we have a network of principals and curriculum directors and um, the district level support. And to me, it, it basically I'm not alone as a principal. Um, it is an effort that is district wide that we can engage in and it will support everyone um, at the same time. Now that we have the units, um, the teacher's focus will not be so much on planning the units, although there is still a level of planning that has to occur. Um, but the focus now is on instruction, um, using those high yield strategies that are provided with RCD, but taking the instruction and implementing that in the classroom, assessing students, and now our focus, I feel, can be on the, on the students. Um, taking data 
from the assessments and really figuring out um, what instructional components they need to put in place as they differentiate instruction in each of the classes. The instruction allows um, for students to learn um, at, at high levels um, if they are in need of remediation. Um, the curriculum does allow for the teacher to use the assessment data um, to provide more remediation. Um, but at the same time, um, students who may be struggling won't miss access to the curriculum. And so all students will have access to the same curriculum, but this allows just more time in the classroom that we can meet the needs of all learners. If a student is engaged, in my opinion, as a principal, um, they, first of all, they know what is expected of their learning in the classroom. It can vary in terms of what it looks like, but definitely the, the student can explain the learning outcomes. Um, what the teacher um, has designed for them to learn. Engagement could also look like uh, the student can answer questions in terms of what their learning is. Engagement is also students being able to write in, at a high level, um, students being able to engage in um, academic discourse. Um, so if it's in a science class, we expect kids to be able to use the academic vocabulary um, which would be associated for that content level. Um, we expect that kids would be able to present their findings, that they may be able to cite evidence, um, that they can think critically and be, be creative within the classroom. I'm really excited about having these units in my classroom. Uh, they're going to give me so much more time to plan because I'll have resources, I'll have performance tasks already made up. Um, I will also be able to you know, communicate with my parents. These units also will level the playing field between a brand new teacher and a veteran teacher. Um, the students will get the same no matter what classroom they're in. These units will give parents, you know, a guide as to where their students should be and what their students are going to be working on throughout. There's not going to be any guesswork. They're not going to have to say, well, what are you doing in ELA? They'll know based on what the teacher will send home and communicate with them. It'll also help me in the classroom as far as planning. I'm not going to have to dig for resources. I'll be able to use the data given to me from the pre and post assessment to plan my instruction to help meet the needs of my students. With the new units, we will give a pre-test and a post assessment for each unit. Um, and using the data from the pre-assessment, I'll be able to look and see what skills the students may already know, and we can kind of review those and get those out of the way. And then I'll be able to see each student individually what they need to work on and what they don't know yet, so that I can, you know, plan the lessons, plan small group instruction, plan uh, whole group instruction uh, to get them ready for the post-assessment and to know how much they've grown and to see what else we need to work on to prepare them for our end of grade assessments. We'll definitely help collaboration with other teachers. Now we all have the same performance task and we can get together and say, hey, how did this go for you? What do we need to do? How can we work together to see what my students need and what ideas can you give me? It will also save time because I'm, we're not gonna spend our planning time digging for resources. We can look at our data and we can say, okay, we've got these resources and this student needs help with this task or this skill. This is what we need to do. I'm really excited also that these units of study will provide access to the curriculum for my special education students and my English language learners that are within my classroom every day. And it will also provide scaffolds to help these students meet the standards that they need to meet. We want to involve our parents in every aspect of, our edu of their child's education. At the beginning of each unit, we're going to send home a letter that kind of gives some sample tasks and will give some skills and things that the student will be working on for the parent to use as kind of a, to assist their child at home. I'm really excited for this upcoming school year. I can't wait for my students to be engaged working on these tasks and I really hope to see high gains with my student in regards to their achievements.